Dear World Dantes friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope everything fine with you and your families. Well, we are ready to rumble with many new and high technology products. Uh, I have already done a video on my uh, Why Dantes One Man Band YouTube channel. Uh, it's a preview video in uh, which uh, I have uh, explained uh, all the features of all the products that uh, I am gonna test on the hunting field, on the shooting range first and on the hunting field. The, um, the hunting field, what I mean, we, we are going to hunt for wild boar on selective hunting and culling, okay? So two different approaches, okay? Different uh, uh, time of the day, uh, probably different seasons, so it will be a very long test, okay? Uh, first of all, I want to tell you that uh, uh, I want to confirm we are going to test on the hunting field the Sabati Saphir in 7mm Mauser in, in 3006. We are going to use uh, three different uh, Presidius scopes uh, one uh, by sight mark, one uh, by binocular by sight mark, the Solitude XD 10 times 42, and also the brand new uh, MWR bullets by Sabati, some monolithic, so lead free uh, bullets. Uh, one is 133. Uh, grains for the 7mm Mauser and uh, 152 grains for the 3006. Okay, we are going to use Baschieri and Pellagri uh, new carbon powders for the reloading ammunition. So we will uh, use custom ammunition, especially made for this. And then, when we will finish the hunting field test here in Tuscany for wild boar, we will go in South Africa with this, all these products, okay, for a nice and wonderful safari, okay? So, now let's see in, in some of these products, all these products, okay, in, in details with some uh, pictures and then I will explain you uh, a, a new thing, uh, which is uh, uh, the, I want to explain you how we are, uh, we did uh, our uh, uh, custom uh, reloaded ammunition uh, for this special MWR bullets, monolithic uh, bullets. Okay? See you soon on the studio. Okay guys, the technicians in Sabati MWR Bullets Company has uh, developed a very special and peculiar uh, bullet for the 7mm. It is a 133 bullet, so it's a little bit on the lighter side of the 7mm because it was uh, developed uh, on the 7mm Remington Magnum and uh, the 7x64 uh, Brennecke, which are the two most popular caliber 
especially here in Europe. Okay? Uh, so, in order to use it on the 7mm mouse, I knew that uh, I had to use a little bit hotter for the caliber ammunition because I need the speed, velocity, in order to make it work perfectly. Okay? So I developed two different uh, uh, recipes, two different ammunition. One is uh, uh, for uh, wild boar hunting here in Italy, and the other one is for Africa, for South Africa, for my safari in South Africa. Why two different ammunitions? Because here, uh, for wild boar, it's very difficult to exceed 150 meter of shooting distance. So what I need, what I really need, is a very uh, precise and accurate uh, ammunition. And uh, other, uh, in, in the other side of the, of, the, of the world, in South Africa, I will need a little bit uh, hotter uh, ammunition, very fast, the fastest I can, uh, accordingly with the pre uh, precision and accuracy uh, question, but hotter because I will uh, have to hunt uh, bigger animals, bigger games, and uh, at, uh, have an, uh, an average shooting distance that uh, at is uh, at least the double comparing the in Italy. If uh, in Italy we can assume 150 meters as the average distance of shooting, in Africa you can assume 250 and bigger, far bigger animals. So I have to use two different ammunition. In this video I will explain you the, the recipe of the uh, ammunition for the 7mm mouse that I have used here in, in, in Italy, in Tuscany, for wild boar hunting. The same question is for the 306, but in this case I had two options, the 150 grains and a 167 grains. So in this case I, I will use the 152 grain for wild boar hunting here in Tuscany, and the 167 grain for South African safari. Okay, this is the question. And I think that uh, I'm right because uh, the average distance of shooting and the average mass of the games are completely different. Okay, even here uh, for culling, uh, you can find a wild boar that uh, can exceed the 250 pounds that's not the norm, okay? Normally we cull and we hunt on selective uh, wild boars that are around 100 pounds, 120, 130. This is the average. So there is no need to uh, have uh, uh, very big bullets or very, very fast bullets. What you need is a very accurate bullet, okay? So it's all that you need. 90% of my shots are in the head or in the neck. Uh, this is to do not spoil the meat. Okay? Okay, let's see in the, de in the details uh, the 7mm Mauser uh, am reloaded ammunition that I will use here in Tuscany. Okay? So, we decided to use the Bastierian Pellagri new uh, carbon powder the BP108, which is a progressive uh, powder, is a very slow burning powder, uh, and I can do it because uh, on my Sabati Saphir carving I have a 61 centimeter, uh, which is a 26 inches barrel, so I have all the barrel that I need. To the, for this uh, slow powder to burn correctly. The dose is 48.5 grains. The uh, primer is a federal 210. And the, uh, the velocity at the muzzle 
is 810 meters per second. It's a lot of uh, meters per second. Why? Because this kind of powder and this uh, special multi-radial uh, rifle bar uh, gives a 12% average of more uh, velocity at the muzzle. In this case, for this uh, caliber, uh, the difference with the conventional barrel was 7.8% uh, of more uh, velocity at the muzzle. So it, it was uh, a great uh, advantage to use multi-radial uh, barrel, the Sabati multi-radial rifling barrel, and a, a, a very slow burning, uh, not very slow, but a, a slow burning uh, powder. Then let's see the 306. We use it, uh, the Baskerian Pellagri BP107, which is an average uh, it's between fast and slow burning, the medium burning rate powder. We use uh, the 56 grains of powder. Uh, the case is a Winchester, and the case was uh, a Winchester also for the 7 mm Mauser. In this case, the primer was an LR, and uh, the velocity of the muzzle resulted 895 meters per second. Uh, this uh, as you, you will see these two cartridges with these two uh, different calibers uh, very soon on the, uh, on the shooting range and you will see which kind of, of uh, zeroing and uh, uh, groups I have uh, done. Very nice and great groups, uh, perfect for wild boar culling and selective hunting. Very accurate, so uh, very effective, okay? For what concerns the, the two recipients of the reloading ammunition for the safari, I will explain you everything in the, in the next video uh, dedicated specifically for this South African safari. Okay? So now it's time, no more talking, it's time to go to the shooting range and then fast after on the hunting field. See you very soon. Dear Wild Hunters friends, here I am at the shooting range in La Strassigna, Florence, ready to rumble. Uh, I have pre-zeroed all my two Sabati Saphir in 7mm Mauser in 306. Uh, now I want to zero them 100, 200, 300 meters. I will show you very soon the group of uh, three shot group at the 200 meters. And I start now with the 7mm Mauser with the 133 grains uh, MWR uh, bullets. Uh, okay, then uh, 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 soon after I will uh, take my 306 Sabati Saphir uh, with the 152 grains MWR bullets. And uh, when we have finished the zeroing, I will make another three shot groups and then we go wild boar hunting.
He took only two shots for zeroing the 7 mm Mauser. The first one at 100 meters was just uh, two more up, so I corrected it. Then I shot the 200 meters, perfectly aligned at the base of the uh, back bullseye. Just uh, uh, one more to the right, but uh, this is normal because today there is a lot of wind from uh, uh, left to right, so at 200 meters. At uh, 100 meters, the target is in, is, uh, in a hole, so uh, there is practically no wind, so I'm okay. Now I take uh, some shot with the 30 or 6, and then we, we will be ready to rumble for hunting. Dear friends of Wild Hunters, we are ready to rumble. I have chosen a very nice place. There is a lot of movement of wild boars, but the problem is that the movement is on the night part of the day, the darkness. And, uh, and also I have the problem with the, with the grass, it's very tall, very high, so I have to stay very high on the hill, on the top of the hill, so the, the shooting range uh, is uh, between 120 and 200 meters, so uh, when uh, the darkness uh, arrive, uh, I will be in trouble, but anyway, I will try to do my best. I, I want to start with the 7 mm Mauser, then further on on the test I will switch on the 306, okay? So, let's start. As you can see, it's a very complicated situation very tall grass. I need to stay very high and the shooting distance is, uh, could be okay for daylight conditions but uh, since wild boars tend to come out from the woods at the last light of the day it will be a night, a real nightmare. I'm hoping that the guys here we cut the grass in the next few days, so I will have uh, more opportunity, especially during the first days after the cut of the grass. The, the, the soil is very soft, so they can come easily for feed on the smooth and soft terrain. So I will have more chance. But anyway, I will try to do my best even in the evening.
it was uh, uh, at least at 180 meters. He came out from the woods and uh, it was moving very fast, so I had to take my time. And finally he stopped very close to a place where there is uh, some mud. Probably he wanted to bath and I let it off. The, the animal runs at the, at the shot, but I have heard the, the high impact of the seven mouse. And then he went to a little bit on the woods, but it took 20, 30 yards and he collapsed there. And now it's okay. It's here. We are just at the beginning. Let's, uh, let's go farther on. Dear friends of wild hunters, it, it was not a, a, a difficult shot because the, the animals came out uh, in plain light. I was a little bit surprised, but I had the time to uh, use the, my camera, my video camera, and it was uh, around 130 yards, more or less. So I had uh, all the time, enough time to make uh, my shot uh, in, right behind the shoulder and uh, it dropped on its tracks and that's it very 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 good I'm very satisfied the test with the seven millimeter Mauser hands here but I want to proceed the test with the Saphir in 3006 I can I can't wait to do that because uh, it's a long time that I don't shoot with that fantastic uh, carbine okay I give you some shots and then I restart hunting It was a very difficult shot because, uh, as you can see, the, the grass is very tall and, uh, and very thick. So we have to wait uh, the, the, the wild boars in these little patches. And it's not very easy because they pass through very fast. It was a long shot, but it, I took it uh, with, uh, with patience and tranquility. So. Uh, I have hit it, but I don't see where exactly I have hit it because it is full of mud. But anyway, it was a nice action. Let's continue the test with the 3006. Dear Wild Hunters friends, welcome back to this uh, video test on the field. This is an hunting field, very interesting, I must say. But. Uh, it looks like a green hell. The, the grass is very tall now. So it will be very difficult for me to, to find a shot. But uh, in this case, when, the, when the, the, the grass is very tall, the wild boar tends to come out a little bit earlier. So this could be a little advantage for me. The average shooting range here is about, about 200 meters. It will be very difficult, I must say, to shoot uh, less than 150 meters. But I have tracked, and during these days, I have found uh, the tracks of two very big wild boars bands about 45 50 animals 
So it will be very interesting to give it a try, okay? So let's see what's happened. There is a group of wild boar that came out on the hill at my left. It's about 500 meters, so I have to move from here. I have to gain at least 300 meters. It's okay for me because uh, the wind is very good and uh, the, the grass is very tall, so I will, uh, I will move uh, very, quick, very quickly. So, because they are moving uh, towards the, the woods, so I have to hurry up a little bit, okay? Let's go. Ci sono dei cinghiali a circa 180 metri. Adesso vedo se riesco a fare un tiro. sei metri, tiro perfetto, presa al cuore, adesso andiamo a recuperarla. Eccolo lì. Ha fatto poca strada. Ha fatto 30 metri. Sono davvero soddisfatto. Oh, davvero soddisfatto. Due bei tiri perché dopo ne ho tirato un altro. Mi sono arrivato adesso vado a cercare. Non ho fatto a tempo ad accendere la telecamera. Adesso andiamo a cercare quell'altro essere qua davanti
dovrebbe essere qua da queste parti eccolo qua eccolo qua due questo è il foro di uscita due colpi ho 30-06 due morti grande precisione adesso c'è da faticare un po' So two shots, two boars, uh, they are called animals, around 100-110 pounds. Uh, two shots, uh, very, very good shots, 186 and 181. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the second shot, but it, it was a very long uh, test. So I think that it's better to make some conclusion in studio. Uh, with uh, everything cooled down and then uh, it was a very very fantastic test for all the components Dear Wild Hunters friends welcome back to the studio so some useful conclusion at the end of, of this articulated hunting video test uh, it was very long and very complicated by the ba very bad weather, uh, rain, uh, strong winds, uh, an unusual season here in Italy. But finally, in just uh, three hunting sessions, I was able to chop down uh, four wild boars, two with the 7mm Mauser and two with the 306. Uh, first of all, I want to make my congratulations for all the, uh, the manufacturers of uh, all the components of the gears that I have used uh, uh, in this uh, uh, video test. I'm talking about uh, the MWR uh, bullets by Sabati, the Paschieri and Pellagri carbon powders, uh, the Sabatti Saphir rifles chambered with the 30.06 and 7mm Mauser MWR uh, multiradial rifling barrels, my fantastic Sidemark Presidio scopes, and my Contessa detachable mounts. My congratulations because in very few years. Uh, these people was, were able to head the, in the, on the market uh, fantastic products at uh, very low prices. This is, uh, uh, we are talking about uh, high level, high performance gears, but with uh, tag prices that are, are available and uh, for everybody. We are talking about 1,100 euro carbon, 600 uh, euros uh, scopes, 350 euros detachable mounts, 70 euros uh, bullets, reloading bullets, for, I'm talking about 50 bullets per package, so 45 euros for half a kilo powder. I was very proud uh, to be involved uh, in this uh, long uh, test and I couldn't believe to achieve uh, some, some results, some final results uh, like, the, like the ones that I have achieved. I knew that uh, the, the weather conditions were very bad but I was comforted by the fact that uh, uh, these components gave me uh, wonderful results at the shooting range. I never found so, so much accuracy, so much precision in low-cost uh, components. So when you you, when you are hunting with uh, such reliable gears, 
you know that uh, you will be able to make great uh, performance on the hunting field. So I, I was uh, very astonished by the results and uh, now I'm going to South Africa with all these components and I'm pretty sure that uh, I will be able to do it uh, more and uh, I know that I will be able to push uh, the performance uh, a little bit beyond uh, the average distances of shooting that I can find here in Tuscany, in South Africa, I will be able to shoot uh, with a lot of confidence at three, four, five hundred meters, and more I will be able to face uh, uh, bigger and tougher animals. This is the question. So now I'm very confident, and as a matter of fact, I have already. Uh, put a new stock, a tumble stock on my 3006. I'm pretty sure that I will be able to have more uh, accuracy and precision on the hunting field. And normally I gain between the 10 and the 30 percent more with the tumble uh, stock comparing uh, with the conventional stock. So that's why I decided to mount a tumble stock on my 3006. Uh, Sabati Safir. Uh, I want to push uh, at the more distance uh, my 306 and my 152 grain uh, uh, MWR monolithic bullets. Okay? See you very soon, very, very soon in South Africa with all my fantastic components.